Welcome to my CBSC English teacher. Today let's look at the summary of the chapter Birth by AJ Cronin from class 11 English. If you are watching my video for the first time, consider subscribing. You can listen to the explanations of lessons from classes 10, 11 and 12 English. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. Let's move on to the video now. About the author, A.J. Cronin was a Scottish physician and novelist. His best-known novel, The Citadel, tells the story of a Scottish doctor in a Welsh mining village who quickly moves up the ladder in London. Cronin had observed the venues as a medical inspector of mines and later as a doctor in Harley Street. Introduction The story Birth highlights the importance of practical experience in the medical field. It proves sometimes more effective in saving lives or in curing deadly diseases. Dr. Andrew was able to apply his experience and save a stillborn child and give life to it. Let's look at the summary now. Andrew Manson, newly out of medical school, has just begun his medical practice. He is an assistant to Dr. Edward Page in the small mining town of Blenerley. He loves a girl named Christine, but he has had a disappointing date with her. Sadly, he reaches Bringover nearly at midnight. The hospital is closed. Andrew finds Joe Morgan waiting for him anxiously. He is there to take the doctor to his house to attend on his wife. He has been married for 20 years and his wife was in labor for the first time. Naturally, he is a keen man to become a father. Andrew and Joe set out for the latter's house, house number 12 Blainer Terrace. Andrew is feeling dull. Joe doesn't go inside, but Mrs. Joe Susan is there in a small bedroom upstairs. Here, her mother of nearly 70 and a strong elderly midwife are waiting beside the patient. The old woman is wise and experienced. She realizes that the delivery will take some time and the doctor may not wait, but Andrew assures her that he is not going to run away. He goes downstairs to drink tea in the kitchen. He is tired and sleepy, but he decided to stay until everything is over. He is much confused. The thought of Bramwell is haunting him. He has been foolishly devoted to a woman who deceived him. Another colleague Denny was living unhappily alone, separated from his wife. All these marriages are dismal failures, but Andrew has a rosy dream about his marriage with Christine. Susan tells her mother not to give her the chloroform as it would harm the baby. She is so much set upon having this child, but Andrew sees no harm in administering the anesthetic. An hour passes. It is past 4 a.m. and then the long struggle comes to an end. The child is born, but it is a stillborn child. Andrew is now in a dilemma whether to save the mother or the child first. Instinctively, he gives the baby to the nurse and gives his attention to Susan who is almost collapsing. He gives her an injection and her heart is strengthened. Andrew now turns around to handle the baby, but the midwife has already placed it under the bed. In a flash, Andrew kneels down and pulls out the child. It is perfectly formed, but its warm body is white and seems boneless. It is because of the lack of oxygen. He is suddenly reminded of a case he had at once seen at the medical school. He asks the nurse to bring hot water and cold water. He puts the child on a blanket. He puts cold water in one tub and lukewarm water in another. He dips the child in the icy water and in the lukewarm water by turn. The midwife watches crazy Andrew with astonishment. She remarks that the child is born dead, but Andrew goes on with his treatment. He puts pressure on the little chest, trying to get some oxygen in it, and then, as if by a miracle, the baby's chest begins to rise and fall. Some mucus comes from one of his nostrils. The white skin slowly turns pink and then comes the child's cry. 
the nurse begins to sob she exclaims with joy and surprise that the child has come alive he hands over the child to the nurse feeling weak and confused he pulls on his jacket and goes downstairs he takes a long drink of water he finds joe standing outside with a tense face andrew assures him that both the mother and the baby are all right it is nearly 5 o'clock in the morning he is elated with his achievement he thanks god for having done something real at last it influences his whole future in blandly let's look at the question and answers question number 1 Why was Andrew so serious and overwrought that particular evening? Answer: That evening Andrew was tense and serious. He had a disappointing evening with his girlfriend Christine. Moreover, he had seen some painful incidents of husbands suffering at the hands of their wives. He was short of sleep as well. Question number 2. Who was Joe Morgan? Why was he so tense and waiting anxiously for Dr. Andrew that night? Answer: Joe Morgan was in dire need of Dr. Andrew's help. His wife Susan was in labor. She was going to deliver their first child after 20 years of marriage. Joe and Susan were keen to have the child delivered safely. So he stood waiting anxiously for the doctor. Question number 3. That night proved unusual and it influenced Dr Andrew's whole future in Blenally. What miraculous thing happened that night? Answer: Dr Andrew had first begun his medical practice in the mining town of Blenally. The successful handling of Mrs Joe is proved a turning point in his life. It was no less than a miracle that he had restored life in a stillborn child by dipping it in cold and warm water alternately. Besides satisfaction, he earned name and fame. I hope you liked today's video. For more interesting videos, do subscribe to my CBSC English teacher. Like, share and give your valuable comments below. Thank you for watching.